I think, you know, storytelling, as you know, is is really important. So here's two stories you could tell about how uh, current AI works. So one story is sort of the story of the golem, right? The, the rabbi of Prague and the golem. You create this artificial system and it's magical and you put special magic in it and then it turns into something that's almost alive. And it's interesting for, that... For, for anyone who doesn't know about the story of the golem, that was a, a, a figure made of clay. That's and right. And he was brought to life... And, and and defended the community. Uh, but then, um, well, it turns out that these stories about what would happen if you had something that wasn't human, that was artificial, that you brought to life, are really ancient. They're way yeah. before even the Industrial Revolution. And I can tell you right now, it never ends well. The story always, <laughs> invariably, the end of the story is that some terrible thing happens and the golem goes mad and, and causes trouble and chaos. And so, that inspired Frankenstein some hundreds of years exactly, later. That's so, okay, right. right. They all have the same character. So okay. there's this very basic human uh, fear about what would it be like if there was something that wasn't actually living that you treated as if it was living, as you treated as if it was an agent. And I think that basic picture, that's the sci-fi picture, that's the picture that a lot of people, including people in the AI world themselves, have about what's happened in AI. Here's a really different story, also a different ancient story. This is the story of stone soup. So what's the story of stone soup? The story of stone soup is there's visitors who come to a village and they say we'd like some food and the villagers say no we don't have any extra food and they say it's okay we're going to make stone soup and they take out a big pot they put a couple of stones in it they put some water in they start to boil it up and they say this will be delicious we're going to make stone soup just with these stones and the villagers say really and they say yeah it would be even better if we had an onion and a carrot in it but if we don't we don't and the villager says i, I think i have an onion and a carrot somewhere and they go and put it in and then they say, you know, when we made this for the rich people, we put barley and buttermilk in it, which makes it even better. But it's OK. It'll still be good stone soup. And another villager goes and gets the barley and buttermilk. And you can imagine how this goes. Then they say, the king said that we should put a chicken in it, which would make it really royal. But we don't have any chicken. So another villager goes and gets the chicken from the back. And by the time they're done, of course, they have this really wonderful soup with all the contributions from all the villagers. And they go to eat it. And the villagers say, this is amazing. There's this wonderful soup, and it was just made from stones. 